Organizers of a concert hope their gathering in Truckee today spreads hope for Kylie Rodney's return. A 16 year old has been missing for a week now after attending a large party. KTV's Alyssa Harrington joins us live from the newsroom with the details of what investigators are saying today about the case and the show of support for her family. Christina, friends say that Kylie loved music and this was a way to honor her and come together. A day of music with a message of hope. The Country for Kylie Awareness Concert at Truckee Regional Park was held exactly one week since 16 year old Kylie Rodney was last seen. They say a song is, is twice as loud as a prayer. The event brought members of the community together to share their love for Kylie, to say thanks to all those who have searched tirelessly for her, and to show support for her family. Many were white in solidarity. We feel like hopefully this will just help draw her here, or know at least from wherever she is that we're here and we're helping her look for her. Kylie was at a party with around 300 people last Friday night and early Saturday morning at the Prosser family campground. She never made it back to her parents' home in Truckee. Her car is missing and her phone turned off. We are continuing every effort and every lead possible. At a press conference, members of law enforcement said they are expanding their search. They have received more than 1,000 tips, including video from that party. They shared an image of Kylie at a Truckee business just hours before she disappeared, as well as a picture of the hoodie she was wearing. There was a lot of video at the party. Uh, we've uh, done a really good job of trying to collect that, as much of that as possible. Uh, that obviously takes time to review. Videos posted on the Find Kylie Rodney Instagram show her playing instruments and singing with her grandfather. She was always singing, singing in the car, singing all the time, singing everything. Community members have been holding search parties and teen to teen meetups to try to get information about who Kylie was last with. Hundreds of law enforcement personnel from several different agencies, including the FBI, have been assigned to the case. There's a dive team searching waterways in the area. There's air support, canines, and ATVs. Now, those who know Kylie, like Jenny Charles, her former music teacher, say they are determined to find her. We are playing her songs, and we are playing things that we hope she can hear so she knows that we're going to find her soon. Members of law enforcement say they're also knocking on doors and collecting video footage. They set up a tip line for anyone who has information, and you can stay anonymous. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Alyssa, thank you. You can go to our website for the FBI's timeline of Kylie Rodney's whereabouts. Agents have broken down sightings of her over the course of two days. You'll also find ways to connect with investigators about any information you may think will help in the case.